And on today's episode, oh goodness, we're flying helicopters and we're doing bellows. If you don't know what that is, oh, you're about to find out right in here. Stick around, find out. Hopefully, it's just your shift cable. To lube it up pretty good, some WD-40. And then I recommend some channel locks. Hold on, because you see how much bigger that is than the actual black piece? You've got to get that to go over that. So make sure you don't mess up your rubber. Uh, I actually took off the little clamp. Episode. Looks yes. good. We get haircuts. Well, let's go fix the boat. Oh yeah. Bellow on a boat. Let's check out these haircuts though. Not bad at all. Whoa, you got a lollipop? Yeah. Yeah. Your hair looks good, dude. Mm -hmm. Case and you too, bro. Alright, let's go fix a boat. Yeah, building more little cottages. Well, those were actually like little put together condo ones. Yeah, those are like the other big. ones are like little houses by themselves. It looks like there's maybe like one bedroom, one bathroom. Or... Did you bring yeah, Nintendo's? This is the last. We did not bring Nintendo's. We should have though. This is the last uh, gas station before we get to the lake house. It's kind of close. Let's check Bounty out. Bounty land. Let's check out the new fountain drinks because they had like a whole new fountain station getting put in. Yeah. That's why we stopped because yeah. you guys did so good with your haircuts that you get a reward. Oh yeah. And let's go work on a boat, right? And go see your friends? Okay. Bellow time. Yeah, the black wall fountain drinks. What? This is all like being redone when I came in here last time. And the Clemson Paw. Yeah, it's pretty cool housing over there. There's little cottages for the house and then the lakes right there. So a lot of them have like lakefront property. Pretty cool school to go to, I'd say. Clemson. And we made it. It's a beautiful day out here. 80 degrees, 79 degrees. What does that mean? It means how warm it is. You like it? We'll yeah. get that motorcycle out and I'm gonna pull this boat up. Cause we might take it out on Sunday. Yeah. Okay, let's get this going. Look where you're going. Okay, so bellows guys, if you have no idea what those are. Yeah, these little guys right in here, these rubber pieces. See them right there? And mine right there, you can see a couple zip ties. It is actually broken right where those zip ties are. So I gotta replace that. That's called the shift cable. So every time you put it in gear with the shifter up there, it puts it in forward reverse depending on where you're going and it, uh, it also puts a throttle in sync with that and lets the throttle go up or down depending on how far you go but it just needs to go a little bit for it to go in gear so we're going to first of all tilt that all the way up and to the left so you have the best access to get to it I'm not getting in the video. and i might might use some small hands to uh, go ahead and get in there oh goodness this is what happens out here. We break stuff more than we make stuff. I guess he's uh, walking with the helicopter mm, and the remote. Two sleeping beauties over there. Who? It's a couple I rock SS. Uh, and uh, I want to get her tuned. All right, all in due time though. First, let's build a shop. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, let's do bellows first. Shop later. So, like we said, first thing first, get that motor all the way up. So we're pulling it up now. And also, don't always put your motor up. I didn't realize this, but it's all the way up now. And then turn your wheel to the left. So I'll actually put it down a little bit. If so I can turn it to the left. Get that motor over there. And then um, that gives you the best access to get in there. And this one, and the reason they pop is if you stretch them out or just over time, they get dry rotted. The weather, so every like five to seven years, you want to replace all of them. Um, but this one, you shouldn't put your motor up all the way. I didn't realize this. I didn't even think about this. I didn't even know what bellows were when I bought the out drive boat. I've always had direct drive boats <coughs> or V drive wakeboard boats. So they have a, um, like a, what's it called? Like it's a polyurethane kind of sleeve around the shaft going out of the boat and those go out too, but that doesn't have anything to do with pulling your motor up or down. So if you're pulling your motor up and down, don't ever pull it up all the way, especially when like storing it for the winter, once you get it off the dock leave it um at least halfway or, or more towards down and that'll keep you from uh, stretching that thing out and that's what makes it pop so didn't know that we won't do that in, in the future but we're doing this now so go ahead and fix that so let's get down there motor down motor up and all the way over so you get the best access to that uh shift cable side and then we'll go from there okay first things first identifying where it's at this is your throttle body so that's what's getting more opening the intake more and more let more air in 
These right here, what you're gonna look at, one, this one goes all the way back to the shifter, so that's what's moving it, but this right here, if you can see it, the bottom one, that one goes, and if you trace it down, it goes back to that drive. So there's cotter pins. I already took one out right here. You can see how that moves now. There was a cotter pin holding that from coming out. So I got that one out. Now we get this cotter pin out. And uh, what cotter pins are is they're just the little aluminum pieces that you push it through and then you bend out the sides so that it doesn't come back out. But I've already uh, pushed it, so I'm gonna get some needle nose so I don't drop that. And then this will come free and then we have to disconnect it here so it can come out the back of the boat. Okay, so let's keep track of this piece. Your wire goes in there. There's adjustments right here, but it pretty much will only go one way. This will have to reach as it sets into that piece where the cotter pin was with this, but the cot the wire comes into here and actually gets pinched with this little piece right here. So loosen that little thing with a set of, uh, not vice grips, what am I thinking about? Um, crescent wrench. And then you can get this wire to come out of here. And then don't lose that, <laughs> don't lose any of that. Don't lose your cotter pins. Put those all away right here. And then uh, you got your wire exposed now. See that? And then that's going to come out of that bellow. But you have to make sure that has something holding onto it so you can fish it back up. So we're just going to use speaker wire because I left my other wire back home. But make sure that's on there nice and tight so you can fish it back up here once you pull it all the way out of the back of the boat. Okay, I have it zip tied off pretty well. Went double back a couple times. Keep track of the routing. It goes behind the cable going for the, hydro <clears throat> the hydraulic steering. Then it goes down between the manifold and the starter right there. So keep track of that routing and where it goes in and then uh, you fish it back up through. Well, Brave Digger's having a good time. This is what you're gonna have. This is your new bellow. So the line's gonna come all the way through there. Uh, make sure you lose a little lubricant on this and this is just gonna be clamped down when you're done. See how it just smash it down. Um, and then this is gonna be a seven millimeter. And the hardest part is going to be getting in here and getting that little guy out. So there's little swivels you can make for it. I have a swivel uh, ratchet. It should work. And then the other side is going to be right here. So you got to loosen that up and get that off again. So, okay. Let's get that. And they say use a little bit of lubricant when you're getting this on so it goes on it uh, at the very end. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay why that craziness is going on here we go so this is where it broke right here um that's my top right there still still got it that's really tight so you have to use a little bit of wd-40 on there so it slides on um but yeah she's out now it's getting hung up a little bit not coming so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside and just make sure i can fish it through from the top and it's not getting hung up on anything like that hydraulic line or something else so our top bellow looks pretty good, looks pretty new. This one has a little bit of dry rot on it, but it should be good for a couple more years, I would, I would hope. And this boat uh, has been so good to us. Um, our good buddy did all the upholstery on it. And oh yeah, make sure you got a nice curves lot when you do this. But uh, yeah, let's go back up here and, fill, and fish this thing through the bottom while 3BB Mom does some exercises on the Oculus. Yeah. Yeah. How's your workout? It was good. It was uh, fun. Did you get video of me doing it? I did. Look at that sun. Let's get out there on the lake. Okay, we got it out, guys. And you can see what I did. I tied a knot with the speaker wire and then zip tied the heck out of it. And that brought the wire through so that I can, what, what, can you see it? Right there, so I can get it back in. Because that's the hardest part. You don't want to be fishing at the bottom of your motor for this wire, so. We're gonna get all the old one off now and get the new one on. And you gotta use some lubricant. Now for this right here, guys, you're gonna need to take first another sip of a Coors Light. Hmm. Gonna have to lube it up pretty good, some WD-40. And then I recommend some channel locks. Hold on, because you see how much bigger that is than the actual black piece? You've gotta get that to go over that. So make sure you don't mess up your rubber. Uh, I actually took off the little clamp just so it has more space to get through. And uh, yeah, it took me a while to keep spinning and get around that thing, but we're on now, that's a new one. So now we gotta run it up there, put the clamp back on, put that clamp bunk on, fish it back up. So we had that tree cut down right there to make room for our shop. It was right there. And there was another one that was going right here that was like, way out here. So we figured that was a bad idea. 
cut that down and now it's a uh, massive firewood guys don't play that too much there might be some rodents and snake stuff around there you know never mind this might be a two-person job so get your t-dubs or through bb mom zip tie the heck out of that thing make sure that wire is staying on there i put a knot at the bottom and don't pull too hard but have somebody else in here kind of fishing it in as i'm pulling up let's get it done let's do it and voila guys you're definitely going to need like a swivel ratchet or even one of those snake ones that goes in there or if you had like a ratcheting well an open end or a combination would take forever so this is pretty easy because i had an angle like that and i could just go back and forth so there you go now we just got to reattach it up top and no more leaking water okay we'll be at the lake tomorrow dropping it in but tonight we're just gonna relax enjoy family and got a little bit of uh something to deal with tomorrow with the family and then enjoy our sunday and celebrate the life of that person okay let's just no more nothing but oil changes for a little bit okay boom put that put that vibe out there but it's a boat break out another thousand that's how it works and there we are we rerouted it the way it came in now we have to reattach it and get it hooked up okay let's cut off those zip ties and that is a wrap guys that's where it broke off right there that last one before the uh cable and this is going to be on your cable once you get this out just pull it off it's like some non-bend um but you're not gonna be able to slip this back over it with that uh on there so take that off and be ready for some more time at the lake the sun is setting it's a beautiful day hope you guys have a great weekend we're gonna drop the boat tomorrow um but we have some family business to take care of in atlanta first so go fuel it up right now get some dinner and uh close this video out with these kids oh yeah oh yeah we still got to do coolant lines on that bad boy if you don't know what that has check the videos out before that's an lsa 6.2 liter ls3 with an lsa supercharger good times all right well let's go see what these kids are doing close the video but we're ready for some more boating okay we did the work and now it's time to play uh well it's just time for dinner so God bless y'all, and we will see you. Ow.